Okay, this is Dr. Janes, and today I'm going to talk about psychotronic generators, a way of uh, generating what I believe is artificial form of uh, psychic energy, or psychotronic energy. And I have a generator, a uh, special generator that I invented, and uh, I'm not, it's uh, off camera right now, but it has a w wire, you can conduct the energy, I believe, down through wires and other things, even non-conducting things sometimes. And it's going to conduct it down to this same thing I was using in one of my other videos. And here I have a bunch of aluminum foil in here. I have the generator off right now. So let me uh, let me turn the generator on. Okay. The generator's on. And let's uh, zoom in a little bit on the uh, bits of aluminum foil that I have down here. And so when the aluminum foil is exposed to the field of the generator, very similar to uh, what I uh, was doing with the uh, life energy or psychic energy, I was producing an attractive force between two metal objects. See here, when it gets close it will actually pick up the aluminum and this would be impossible to do with an electrostatic force because uh, uh, the, f the sign would have to be the same on both pieces of metal since they're touching and uh, this is more like a magnetic force. It actually causes things to become attracted. In fact, if I can, sometimes I can pick up a whole chain of them. Let's see if we can do that. Get one, and it, once they become uh, conditioned with this force, they behave very strangely. They want to stick together. And when the field's turned off, they'll go back to normal, but they become almost kind of magnetized. And uh, let's see, we got one here. Let's see if we can get some more to stick together. And the more they're in the field, the more charged up they get. There we go, we got a bunch of them. Okay, see that? We got two of them picked up. One, that one, and it's picking up another one. They're all being attracted together. That's definitely not an electrostatic force. It's very unusual. I believe this is uh, exactly what John Hutchison was doing, the Hutchison effect. See how these are stuck together now? The aluminum is becoming magnetized. And uh, we take a magnet near it. I don't know if you can see it, but it will be affected by the magnetic field. Seems to be stuck pretty firmly to that tip of that. Now what happens if we, uh, so we'll turn off the generator. Let me... Okay, so see it's on the tip of that, and I'll turn the generator off. I guess it's holding its charge for a little bit. Let's bring a magnet near it, see if we can discharge it. Oh, we just touched it and it discharged. So it's some kind of charge that's built up on the aluminum and uh, it causes it to be attractive and that cannot be an, a normal electromagnetic force or electrostatic force because that's what electrons produce because it, it uh, stays on there until it's discharged by touching something. And I believe this is a new type of energy. Okay, let's, let's turn our generator back on again. And usually, I, it wasn't responding too much to the magnetic field this time, but I think when it got charged up, it had it much, much more charged up earlier. And it was definitely, definitely responding to the magnetic field when I brought it near it. Oh. See so if we can pick up a big piece here. Up. Oh.
So anyway, I believe that it's possible to generate these uh, psychotronic fields artificially with machines. And, uh, well, I guess humans, I guess, are a machine, but you could generate very powerful psychotronic energy. See how these things start to stand up and behave strangely, stick together, start clumping together when they get charged up with this weird energy. Oh. Anyway, could this be the uh, energy that UFOs use to uh, propel themselves? See that? See how it was starting to be attracted to the magnet? Even though it's impossible to be an electro le electrostatic force. Oh. Very unusual type of energy. So if you watch what John Hutchison is doing in a lot of his videos, the metal will behave kind of like this, like it's magnetized, and it will clump together, stick together. And I believe what he's probably doing is charging the uh, pieces of metal up with uh, different fields, and then he's using electromagnetic fields to interact with it and move them around. So here we go. piece of aluminum that is magnetized and stuck to another piece of aluminum. You can see there it's deflecting when it gets close to the magnet. See that? piece of aluminum foil is deflecting up as it gets close to the magnet. It's definitely got whatever's, whatever this energy is, it is magnetic in nature. And, uh, it's very strange to say the least. Anyway, the UFOs are definitely associated with magnetic fields. And uh, this energy would definitely describe a lot of the uh, uh, things that are observed with the flying saucers. Anyway, so this is the next installment of uh, Psychotronic Energy. And this is Dr. Jaynes, and thanks for watching.